Hey. Part three. Chapter three. Frankenstein. Chapter three, part three. Oh man. We are really cooking with gas. Because I don't think they had gas back then. They might have had oil. My, I got, got, a, got one of those, dry, it's like dry skin. I'll give you dry skin. I then thought that my father would be unjust if he ascribed my neglect to vice or faultiness on my part. But I am now convinced that he was justified in conceiving that I should not be altogether free from blame. A human being in perfection ought always to preserve a calm and peaceful mind and never to allow passion or transitory desire to, to disturb his tranquility. I do not think that the pursuit of knowledge is an expression to this rule, an exception to this rule. If the study to which you apply yourself has a tendency to weaken your affection and to destroy your taste for those simple pleasures in which no alloy can possibly mix, then the study is certainly unlawful. That is to say, not befitting the human mind. If this rule were always observed, if no man allowed any pursuit whatsoever to interfere with the tranquility of his domestic affections, Greece had not been enslaved. Caesar would have been would have spared his country. America would have been discovered more gradually, and the empires of Mexico and Peru had not been destroyed. But I forget that I am moralizing the most interesting part of my tale, and your looks remind me to proceed. My father made no reproach in his letters and only took notice of my silence by inquiring into my occupations more, peculiar, more, more particularly than before. Winter, spring, and summer passed during my labors, but I did not watch the blossom of the expanding leaves, sights which before always yielded me supreme delight. So deeply was I engrossed in my occupation. The leaves of that year had withered before my work drew near to a close, and now every day showed me more plainly how well I had succeeded. But my enthusiasm was checked by my anxiety, and I appeared l rather like one doomed by slavery to toil in the mines, or mines, M-I-N-E-S, not mines, mind, z, mines or any other unwholesome trade than an artist occupied by his favorite employment. Every night I was oppressed by a, by a slow fever. Every night I was oppressed by a slow fever, and I became nervous to a most painful degree, a disease that I dreaded the, mo the more because I had hitherto enjoyed most excellent health and had always boasted of the firmness of my nerves. But I believed the, that exercise and amusement would soon drive away such symptoms. And I promised myself both of these when my creation should be complete. Wow. That was all I had left of that? Damn. That is a quick part. That was chapter three. Chapter 3, like and subscribe, uh, write some comments down below if you'd like, um, I'm more than happy to communicate, and um, please, please do me a favor, and enjoy your life, nothing else, that's okay by me, bye bye.